Ferryville, Wisconsin. The people, the location, the place for all seasons. Charlie Fisher, when you think of Ferryville, what first comes to mind for you? The river. What about the river? Oh, the Mississippi. It's one of the whitest spots of the Mississippi, Bob. And I've been in sales for a long time and seen a lot of the Mississippi River. But quite honestly, the river has a, has a real dynamic in this part of it. You know, a lot of this, as my father-in-law used to say, was hay fields and ballparks until the dams came in in the 30s. And the work project brought people to the Mississippi and brought people here. And they said, you know what? We want to be here. And, of course, people left with work, but they always come back. Ferryville, Ferryville, Wisconsin, 176 people. What's there to do in a small town? You know, it's kind of interesting. This town is a real welcoming community. So the tractor poles started years and years ago. The tractor poles were a big thing in Ferryville, and they went away. And then about uh, 15 years ago, they uh, they came back. And so it draws people in. You know, they do the fireworks out here on the river in the wintertime. The eagles that you see along the river all winter. And, of course, all the fishermen and the duck hunters, Bob. That's what brings people to Ferryville. So you didn't grow up here, but you've lived here most of your adult life. When you think of Ferryville, Wisconsin, Charlie, what keeps you here? Uh, well, my wife's family, of course. You know, her, her roots are much deeper even than mine here. I mean, her, her great-grandfather's buried at Freeman Lutheran Church. Her grandpa and grandma were buried up there, were married, and her folks were married and buried up there as well. And uh, quite honestly, uh, we were married and buried there as well or you're buried there? not buried Charlie there. Looked damn good for being buried dude man <laughs> yeah let's start all over there so actually uh the roots come from my uh wife's side to to be here what keeps you in Ferryville, charlie oh the people it's a really a good group of people that are here bob and for that we really appreciate it it's the people and the environment, because it's a great area. I mean, you know, there's fishing, there's hunting, the scenery here is good. You, you didn't grow up in Ferryville, but you've spent your, you've raised your children here, you live here, you've got a farm here. Why Ferryville, Wisconsin? You could live anywhere. My wife's roots, of course, are from here, but the people, Bob, and the people have kept us here. It's a great network of people, and uh, the scenery's good, and the environment. We see a lot of different people come to this area that want to come and see what this is all about. You know, there's 176 people according to the sign. That may change, who knows. But being a small town, is there a huge draw for people for being a small town? You ever been here, Bob, on a, on the opening morning of duck hunting and seen how many cars are here? Ask Kathy when she's working back here cooking how many opening weekends. It's been just wild, you know, with people that are here, Bob. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of draw. The fishing, the eagles, a lot of people draw here. What was the draw of raising your daughter here in Ferryville? The schools. Schools are good. So when my daughter was young, the Prairie View schools out in the middle of the country between Ferryville and DeSoto up on the hills. And it's a good group of people. Again, I got to say it, Bob, because it's the truth. It's a network of people that raise these kids. I'm on the road in sales, Bob. Somebody had to do it. And she turned out to be valedictorian. So I got to give him compliment, don't you? For the first time you came to Ferryville, you know, you're recording Christie. What were your thoughts of, you know, Ferryville, Wisconsin? I keep coming back to it, Bob, but the network of people, you know? There, there's a there's a group of people here that are that are different than than in a lot of areas. The cliques aren't the cliques in Ferryville, Bob, because people it's such a melted pot of people that have came here and have been able to adapt here because of 170 some people is all in the community. People welcomed you into the community. So you start to see people and you start to know people and you got involved in the church and you got involved in coming downtown, having a few beers and knowing the people and the people that couldn't wait to be here on weekends, Bob, from their jobs, whether they were in Chicago or they were in Milwaukee or they worked in Janesville, they couldn't wait to be here in Ferryville. So anyway, yeah, Ferryville has been a, been a great run. You keep bringing up people, Charlie, and I agree. The people in Ferryville are fantastic. The science is 176, but, I mean, it's it's more than the 176 people. Community is another big word and another cool thing. And, you know, we, we, we touched on it a minute ago. Tell me about the tractor pull. So the tractor pull started years ago, long before I was part of Ferryville. And my father-in-law was involved in it a lot at that point, and uh, the Gilmans and a lot of the farms in this area. But even back then, Bob, they drew farms from all over coming 
to be part of the tractor pulls. You know, you hear people talking about from being over by Muscaday and Blue River and way down in Iowa coming over here to be part of the tractor pulls back in those days. And then, of course, it went away for a while. But guess what? It's like a lot of things in this old river. The river changes. And so the community changed again. And so different people came back and wanted to be part of them tractor pulls. You mentioned the river and you've, you've mentioned, you know, you've mentioned people, you've mentioned the tractor pole and one of the big draws for a lot of people is the river. What's your thoughts on the Mississippi River? I come from the world of uh, industry and commercial and for agriculture. It's, it's, a, it's the reason we have so much strong cash grain in this area. It's why our fertilizers are able to be at a more affordable price because of what we can do coming off the river with product versus trucking it all in and, and being in a lot of those areas. But it's also the recreation. Think about how many people's lives have changed sitting on a pontoon boat, drinking a few drinks on a Sunday afternoon with your best friends. People don't forget that stuff, Bob. No, they really don't. You deal with a lot of the local people that are farmers and, you know, that are the the backbone of of our community. There was a lot of tobacco raised here in the day, you know, and and so tobacco was a big cash crop. And and a lot of of Norwegian heritage when you get up in the hills around outside of Ferryville here. The Lutheran Church, the Freeman Lutheran Church got a strong heritage that way. Tell me on, on coming to the ferry boat. Tell me a story about why I would want to come here and stay here. Yeah, so from Milwaukee, you're only three and a half hours. So it isn't like it's a three-day run to come out here and be part of this. When you get here, you're going to see some of the prettiest area that you'll see. Just comparable to the Black Hills. People love to go to the Black Hills to look at the hills. Nice hills out in Black Hills, but they don't have the river like we've got here, do they, Bob? No, they really don't. And three miles across here, one of the widest spots in the, you know, in the, in the river right here in Fairville, Wisconsin. And you look out there and I mean, it, it, it's an amazing view. That's why we were blessed looking back on it now that that farm up on the ridge right beside us turned into Eagle Mountain. We got discovered, Bob. And so when, once we got discovered and people started to buy land here and become part of the community, it was like they wanted to stay. But part of that was really because of the people that were here initially that kept them here, it introduced them in it and brought them into the area. When we moved, that Eagle Mountain was nothing but a farm called the Lau Place. And it was, uh, there was a set of buildings there and a tobacco shed. And they burnt the whole thing. They started building roads. They started making views of the river. And we met so many unique people that have came here to be part of the community. Got to tell you a story about that that was really interesting. So years ago, Christy Rubin and me, we had tobacco right along the road there. And a guy stopped and he built a new house out here. He was a lung surgeon in Chicago. And he said, I want to stop and I want, I'd want i love to buy three leaves of tobacco. You can have them. What do you do? I'm a lung surgeon and I want to show people what kills them. So he got three big leaves of tobacco and took it back to his uh, back to his office. And he always told us he had them in his office and said, we raise this back where I, I uh, have a house at. We raise it. He wasn't raising it, but he was part of the community. So he was a wee, Bob. What's your favorite story about Ferryville? I think one of the things that's one of my favorite stories is actually I've been part of um, celebrations of life. We don't call them funerals anymore, Bob. For a couple of really neat people over the years, Tom Tower, who was a big part of Ferryville, and uh, he loved Ferryville. He, he loved the community. Uh, Wilbur Dinger was an old guy that used to be downtown here a lot, that was a great part of the community, that uh, they liked the community. They had a passion, and they're all resting here now. And so we were part of their life and be part of celebrating their, their heritage here. So when push comes to shove, this is where I want to be. Ferryville, Wisconsin, truly the place for all seasons. For more information, visit ferryville.com.